that just shows you the difference between how a lot of women think and how men think and why there's such a disconnect when it comes to men and women and relationships because women move with their emotions and their feelings and they feel a certain way whether it's legit or not and that's just how it is you know that lady basically belittle that man and that's to be expected when people don't like what you're saying they want to bash you and belittle you as, as opposed to saying you know what that's his preference that has nothing to do with me because remember he's not talking he wasn't talking directly to her and for her to address him directly and bash him over his preferences it just shows you how a lot of women think they can't handle when somebody have a difference of opinion or a different uh, a different preference or when they are not included in that preference see as long as if men are saying oh i like bbws or i like women with kids or i think just women are just all tense oh they don't have no pushback against that because that's the delusional state of what you you thrive in you think that that is real so as long as you agree with it it's okay but when you don't agree with somebody's preference, oh, he got to be sassy, he got to be this, he got to be delusional, he, he got to be lying, he can't be telling the truth about what he has. And and so I think that's a problem. And I, I think it's unfortunate that people just look over that and just don't, you know, don't, don't, don't call these women out on their BS. But at the end of the day, you really, you ain't got to really call them out. Uh, their experiences are going to teach them. Their experiences are going to show them otherwise and that's what's happening a lot of men are not dealing with the women and they're mad about it. they're not approaching them that lady said these men won't even give them these men won't even look their way child they decided like you know what i ain't gonna even give these these hyenas no eye contact because i don't even want them approaching me and it is what it is and a lot of women are gonna miss out on good men with that type of attitude so it's a lot that you know women gotta learn you gotta get it together i don't i don't think that women are exempt from doing better and 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 and, and doing something differently i think for men who tr who like to say oh women ain't gotta do nothing i think that's the delusional take on it i think that kind of perpetuates the mindset and make them c continuously make them think that they don't have to do anything that they're perfect and men are just the ones that gotta always be striving to do better and always got to be leveling up and always got to keep working on themselves while women can sit back and not work on themselves at all. That is not conducive to healthy, stable relationships. Both of y'all need to be working on yourself. If you want to work with somebody, y'all both need to be able to understand each other. In order to do that, you have to learn what it means uh, to, to work with a man, what a relationship should look like, what men want, just like you want men to know what you want. What's the nature of a woman? What's the nature of a man? How how does how y'all gonna work together? Are y'all compatible? What does working together look like? What you should be doing as a woman and what he should be doing as a man and how y'all gonna bring that together and establish a relationship together. That's just what it is. And there's no way around it. This is why relationships are horrible. People who get in relationships, they break up because usually the women leave because they, they call it toxic because the relationship does not serve them. So if you don't have a man who's serving you 24 seven, you think that he's no good and you need to bounce, but you never think about your part in the relationship and how y'all should serve each other. Cause that's what a relationship is at the end of the day. It's about two people working together, not a man just catering to you 24 seven and, and meeting all of your needs while you do the bare minimum uh, for him. That's a disaster waiting to happen. So, uh, successful MD, thank you for the super chat. Once again, says, even if the woman is making more than the man as the man, he's not going to want his wife spending frivolously and that too. Thank you for that. My two cents. That's another thing too. A woman who cares about you is going to understand that you can't just spend, 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 spend. Cause you don't, you know that if your husband is out here working hard for the family you don't want to just spend his money willy-nilly because you know he's work you know he's working hard and you know that he's working hard for the entire family so women who care about the relationship and care about you they're not going to want to just spend your money on every little they're not going to want to do it bottom line if you meet a woman and all she cares about is just spending 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 your money all just spending it all and don't care that's a red flag. That's a red flag for you to realize that this is going to be a problem. And this is not something that you want to have to deal with. So keep it moving. Cause in my opinion, like I said, a woman who's in it to be with you and cares about you, she's going to be uh, caring about your, your finances. She's going to be in tune with what you guys, y'all going to have a plan. Y'all going to, y'all going to have an overall consensus of what you want to spend your money on and how you should spend it and how you're going to grow it how it's going to benefit y'all the family 
and not just you. A gold digger is only going to care about herself. How much you can spend on her, how you can just spend, 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 spend. She don't care about the future. She don't care about nothing else, but just making sure she get what she wants. That's how you know that that person is really not about you. They only about what you can spend on them. And the minute you can't do it, oh, she's, she's ghosted. She's leaving it doesn't serve her and, and her only purpose is to drain your pockets if she can keep getting she gonna keep getting with the minute she can't get she's out the door so that's how you know the difference between a gold digger and a woman a woman who is trying to get to know you is not gonna care if you take it if, if you take it to applebee's i'm sorry and i said it and i'll say it a thousand times a woman who is trying to get to know you is not gonna care if you take it to applebee's She's not going to care if you take her to a chain restaurant like these women complaining about. She's not going to care about that because she knows it's not about where you go. The fact that this man is even taking you somewhere and paying for it, she would be appreciative of that. And it doesn't mean that she accepts the bare minimum. That means she's smart. That means she has sense in order to know. I'm trying to get to know this man. Let me see what he's about. Even if he makes a lot of money, she's not looking for your money. She's not looking for how much you can spend on her knowing that you don't even know her, knowing that y'all are trying to get to know each other. So we could go sit out, out at the park and have a conversation because it's not about, it's about you getting to know each other. And this is why I say a lot of these women are delusional. Y'all looking to, to, to y'all expecting these men to give y'all something for nothing. You have not put into a relationship with this man. He doesn't owe you a goddamn thing. You haven't put in, you just getting to know him. So why wouldn't a park or date or coffee or, or ice cream, that should be sufficient. Cause he doesn't owe you a goddamn thing. Just like you don't owe him nothing. But what happens is because these women are unrealistic and, and they're superficial and you want these men to spend all these money on you, you run into the wrong type of guys who might have money for all he said. Okay. Yeah. I'll take you to that restaurant, but what I'm getting afterwards, you going to give me some of that because you, I know what you out here for. And you end up giving your body to somebody and that's all it becomes then a transactional situation because he's playing game like you. Now, once he realized you run a game, he going to run game back with you. And if this is what you want, that's what you get. And that's why a lot of them get transactions because that's your intention. Any woman who's not about that, she's going to come with her priorities in place. She's going to come saying what is she's looking for and she's not going to be out here playing these gold digger games. This is why I say your folk, you have to, you have to have your priorities in order and you have to know what your focus is on and focus on that. And so if your focus is on family, then let it be on that. You know, uh, uh, once you've completed that and you can move on and do some other stuff and then you would, you know, so I, you know, that's just how I see it y'all. And, you know, I try to give my little two cents to maybe help somebody who may not know, uh, you know, that there's a different way that you don't have to go, uh, go this route of, of what society is telling you and that, Oh, you got to get to the bag and get these men to do be little woman, making them do all that's some bunch of bullshit. And that, that is not, that is not helping anybody.